Reapers on the front porch singing old familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Looking through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Welcome to Heart of the Home in the New Year. I'm back home and I'm so happy to be home. Uh, maybe. Been, been off my regular job in North Georgia now today for 10 days, guys. It's been a little stressful. I'm not used to downtime. But my downtime means that we have had time. Angela Barker has joined us. And Johnson, we've had time to talk about the new theme song. We've been promoting it. I've been out wheeling, dealing, visiting, handing out copies of it. And let me show you, Miss Barker, who wrote this? I did. You did. <laughs> you did. And it took you how long to write our theme song? Around two weeks. Now, I waited two years on someone else to write it. And I just kept saying, well, just get an idea, just get an idea. When you came up with this idea, you'd never been to our farm. No. You'd never set foot there. Now, Johnson, you've been to the farm, hadn't you? Have no. you ever been over here? No. Well, you hadn't been. And then the Saturday after you wrote this, we pulled up and you said it really is perfect. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. We have the front porch, the rocking chairs, and that's where Heart of the Home started. And it was kind of a, um, the early days, the lighting was terrible. Oh my goodness, the lighting was <laughs> terrible. And my allergies are so bad. And it's an 1860s farmhouse, so it has a lot of, you know, dirt fence from the, the dirt zeller and, and just, it just, my allergies would kick up after about 30 minutes into shooting. And you could tell I was getting to the point that I couldn't even breathe. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And so that's the reason we did this house. But we felt the theme had to go with the farm. So you did the pastures. You did the tractor in the barn. Are we going to tell people the secret about that? It's up to you. The <laughs> barn tractor, the tractors at your house, the barns at our house, we put the two together. What's that magic thing you use? Photoshop? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Well, technology allowed us to, we shot y'all in the living room, we shot you in the kitchen. The kitchen's my favorite part there. The Everything we did, Mr. Tompkins put together and it was absolutely perfect. Now, most videos aren't done in a day, but you finished this in how many hours? Oh, I'm not sure, but we finished it in that day. One day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and he had never seen the farm before. No. Y'all literally loaded up from Copper Hill, Tennessee, and you came down with the equipment, and you walked onto the porch, and we opened with Jeremy playing the guitar, sitting in a rocking chair. Perfect. Perfect. Now, who decided how to do the video? Mr. Tompkins set most of it up. Mm -hmm. He had a storyboard. We had no idea. We do the music, but mm -hmm. we don't do the video. So he had all the ideas on a storyboard and set it up on the computer so that we could actually see it before we did the filming. And did you think he was right on from the very oh, yes. beginning? Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, now let's talk about writing this song. The words came to you in a couple of weeks. Sitting down with your family and saying, okay guys, this is what I want the music to do. Was that easy? Yes, once you get the tune, you have to get it in a key that everybody can do and decide mm -hmm. who will sing it. So we decided Jeremy would do the singing and we got a key that he could do well. Mm -hmm. And they just put the music to it. And today we're going to just feature your family. I think that's important because y'all started how many years ago, Ange? Oh, goodness. I'm not sure how many years. Jeremy would have been in the fifth grade when we actually started And he's playing. now in college. And he's in college. Wow. So wow. Is that eight years? Mm -hmm. Eight years. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a whole new year, and I laughed about it. I've got on a jogging suit, and you know how everybody makes all these predictions and all these, we're going to do this and we're going to do yes, that. Sir. Oh, no, we're not going to do that <laughs> stuff. We are going to cook better today. Okay. We're going to make a tomato dish that you and I made a while back, but we've never done it on Heart of the Home on the 30-minute show. Now, tell me what you remember about it. Crunching the... Leftover crackers. Yeah. Leftover crackers that we used 
over the holidays, you have cheese trays. Everybody has a cheese tray. And you always have stuff left over. So we're going to use garlic crisp that we had left over and tomatoes for antioxidant. And this is the time of year there's not a lot of sunshine around, so we're going to use tomatoes, onions, good things for you. Some cheese and some um, bacon bits. And what did I tell you the secret ingredient is? It's got brown sugar in it. It's carrot cake mix. It's carrot cake mix. I open a pack of carrot cake mix and I use it for all different things. And this is just a couple of tablespoons of it with some brown sugar. So when we come back, guys, we're going to show you how to assemble things that are good for you. We're going to let you listen to a little bit of the Barker music right now. And I think we're going to choose something that features. Who are we featuring on the banjo? Jonathan. Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, who is now 14 years old. Yes. And uh, an A-plus student. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Sit back right now and enjoy the Barker Brothers. When we come back, we're going to give you a quick and easy tomato recipe. Mm -hmm. What do we call this? Scalloped tomatoes. Scalloped tomatoes. Yeah. That's exactly right. Hang on, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now, Angela, aren't you proud of that song? Yes, I am. What a great job he does on that. Yes. Now, let's talk about it. Do you choose the music the guys are going to do? Do y'all get together as a family? Is that how you do it? It's usually a group effort. Right. Whatever we do, it's it's usually a group decision. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if some, someone feels real strongly about something, they'll say, let's do this. But and what's the song you did because I said you'd be perfect for it? 
Take Me Home Country oh, Roads. <laughs> yes. Take Me Home Country Roads. It's perfect. When when Jeremy does that, it is just absolutely like it was designed for him. And I said, I'm sure John Denver's tickled to death. Now, Johnson's opening cans of tomatoes for us, and she has done this recipe before. You've never seen it, but I'm going to tell you about it. It's onions, tomatoes, and we're going to use three different kinds of tomatoes. We use some with spices. Tomatoes have a lot of vitamin C in them. A lot of vitamin D, too, I think. But, but this is something, the first time I made it was for a dinner at my house in January, and it was one of our anniversary shows. And I thought, I'm not sure people are going to like this. They ate every single bite of it. Now, you like tomatoes, I don't you? I love tomatoes. And they're That's good for you. Now, we're adding Rotel tomatoes. And one of the recipes you're going to do for us in just a little bit is a little bit spicy. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've chosen to do today? I'm going to make hot slaw. We eat it a lot with barbecue, hot dogs, different fish. fish. Today we're going to have it with fish. fish. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to start a whole new game plan. This is good for me. And we're going to have some fish. It's brain food. And Lord knows with all the jobs I have, I need a little brain food. So. Now, did you see our Donna Fargo special? Yes, I did. Did you like that? Oh, it was wonderful. I loved it. Well, guess who's next? Brenda Lee. Oh, yeah. Brenda Lee, I'm so excited. I'm bringing women out of my past to be with us, and I think that's the thing. We all remember the songs we look back oh, on, yes. and it's like Take Me Home Country Roads. I heard that in the 60s when John Denver did it, and then when Jeremy did it, it was all fresh and new, and it was wonderful. Now, we have done three cans of tomatoes. And Johnson knows this trick. Johnson, come here and let's show Miss Ange what we do. We took three different kinds of tomatoes. And you're gonna crunch the crackers. Now tell me where the crackers came from. Leftovers. Leftovers. <laughs> Leftovers, because what does Sherry Martin do? Never waste anything. So will you crunch up the crackers for me? And now remember, this is the combination of brown sugar, this is the spices that you use, to sweeten it just a tiny, tiny bit. This is carrot cake mix and brown sugar combined. And that's kind of the kick to this. And then, Miss Johnson, just crunch them up really, really small. And we called this, the first time I made it, I said, Johnson, do you think you'll like scalloped tomatoes? She said, I don't think so. <laughs> and I said, well, pretend it's an upside down pizza. And that, that's how I got her through that this. Like. That's how I got it through. Now, we're gonna put some butter. And you know, I don't use margarine. Now you use that old stuff, smart for you. <laughs> something. Yes, you do. You use the good for you stuff, but do you know butter is not that bad for you? It really isn't that bad. And it, it's all it's gonna do is add flavor. So, uh-oh, look what I just did. But um, a stick of butter. And the butter and the crackers will create a crust. Okay. And then cheese. So we're gonna have a little dairy going on. We're gonna have some vitamins going on. And we've got the onions for antioxidants. How are you going with those? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Let's see. A little bit small. Crunch hard. Okay. There you go. Now, okay, tomatoes, we use three different cans. We use regular stew. We use onions. We use some jalapeno. I love the Rotel tomatoes. Love that. And then we're going to put some bacon bits on it. So we're adding a little bit of butter, a little bit of bacon. And, uh-oh, what you think about that? I don't think that's going in there, and I don't think that one is either. So this is gonna be, actually this could be a whole meal. And we're gonna cover it in the crumbs, and I'll go down for the small ones. You just create a light crust. And this has, all these have different garlics and things in it, so it's got some spices. And it's gonna add a little bit of flavor and it creates a crust. It just bakes and does crust. Now does the butter mix with the crumbs? It does. Okay. It does. And then we're gonna put cheese on top of this and we're gonna bake it. And it is so, so good. Now we're gonna come back in just a minute and you are going to be working while we take a break on what you call hot slaw. Yep. And I think when they come in with this, they're gonna go, who to ever thought of that? Who to ever thought of that? Now y'all don't go away. We're gonna feature some more Barker Brothers music and when you come back, you're going to get to smell hot slaw. You think I can smell it? Should be able Maybe. to. Maybe. I think so. I think so. Hang around, guys. We'll be right back. Headed down south to the land of the pines. Running my way into North Carolina. Staring up the road, pray to God to see the headlines. I 
Read it down the coast in 17 hours. Pick me a bucket of flowers. Open for all the I can see my baby tonight. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mommy, any way you feel. Guitar, I play the banjo now. Open up, touch your windows, keep forgetting me now. I lost some money playing poker, had to up and leave, but I ain't turning back, playing that old life no more. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mommy, any way you feel. Around a Philly had an nice little toe. He's headed west to the Cumberland Gap from Johnson City, Tennessee. And I gotta get a moving move for my son. I hear my baby calling my name. And I know she's the only one. If I die, probably at least I will die free. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Welcome back. Wasn't that a great song? Good choice, Miss Barker. Thank you. Now, I think this is a great choice. We're beginning the new year and trying to do better. We've got some brain food going on. Look what I did. You know, through the magic of television, I actually went through the drive-thru at my favorite <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Everybody said, bring something. So I brought something. You didn't say I had to cook it. Tell me about your hot slaw and how it was developed. Well, we and let's show them. purchased hot slaw for years that a gentleman made, and he quit making it, and we couldn't get it, so we just developed our own. Mm -hmm. I used cabbage, put it in the food processor. I used sliced jalapenos, put mm -hmm. those in the processor with the cabbage, mm -hmm. squirt in a little bit of mustard, put it in the bowl. And then after I get all this mixed, I keep adding mustard mm -hmm. till it's the color. Don't really have a recipe, I just mix in mustard till it's the color I want it to be. And what do I say about a recipe? It's, it's only, only a beginning. beginning. It's only beginning. Now, when I've been trying to teach Johnson to cook, everybody knows my home ec teacher, Miss Kemp, was like my favorite person, and she was very precise. I'm not. But I do have these measuring spoons. Now, Ange, I want to add, I said the recipe is only beginning. I want to add some poppy seed to this. Do you think that'll work? I think it will be great. Do you think, okay, here we have a choice. A tad, a drop, a smidgen, a dash or a pinch. What are we going to add? A tad. Let's add a tad of poppy seed because I like, you said now Scott doesn't like celery seed. 
Does he like mustard seed? Yes. Okay, well I like poppy seed. So I think we're gonna try this and we've added a tad of poppy seed. Now Johnson, honey, remember, when you grow up and you get married at your shower, somebody will give you measuring spoons and you will know that what you do with them, darling, is you just lay them on your <laughs> counter to look pretty because you never use them, honey, you never use them. Angie, do you measure when you cook most of the time? Most of the time, no. Yeah, you know if it's right. You know if it's right. Now let's talk about music. When you sit down with the guys to start on the song, who knows when it's right? Can you all tell if everything's right on? I think we do. Very seldom is there one that, that you don't get a feel about. And uh -huh. we've practiced some and decided, okay, we're not going to do that song. Uh -huh. it, you just know it's not right for you or right. for our group. or right. you know. And then sometimes you do one one time and you know. And you go, oh, it was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. Now, what about Go Down Moses? When you wrote that song, did you sit by yourself, write it, and then come to your family and say, look what I've done? I actually wrote it when I was driving back and forth to work. Uh -huh. I had an hour of the morning and an hour of the afternoon. Uh -huh. And so that hour of the morning is, was kind of thought time. Uh -huh. And it came to me driving back and forth to work, and we came in. Again, I did the words, and Jonathan and Jeremy added the music to uh -huh. it. I do the words and the tune, but they have to put the music. Uh -huh. And does it just come in your head? That one did. Man, it's <laughs> such a good song. And it's that we're going to close with that today. And we're going to take just a little bitty break. When we come back, we're going to serve. The tomatoes are almost out of the oven. We're having a really, really good meal. It's antioxidants, hot slaw, Angela Barker's recipe, and <coughs> Sherry Martin drove through the drive through This is so good. They, are we on a health kick or something? Yes. Maybe so. Maybe so. Let's see how long it lasts, guys. Right now, we are going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to be joined by some friends we're going to share this healthy meal with.
Welcome back. Well, I know y'all are loving this bluegrass music. Now, Ange, a year and a half ago, I wouldn't listen to bluegrass music. I have grown in what I like. My, I'm changing my attitude. I have a whole new attitude this year. I have tomatoes. I have hot slaw. I would never have thought of this, ever. And I have fish. And we are joined by my buddy, Miss Regina Camp and Miss Johnson Collins. Now, Regina, we want you to sample this. And I'm going to tell y'all, these tomatoes, even if you don't like tomatoes, this is a good dish because it has a lot of different flavors in it. It has the cheese, it has the bacon, and it has a little tiny bit of brown sugar. It's really, really good. We're going to spend some time learning this year other things. So, you know, the memories are great, but it's good to make new memories. And I think this year is going to be very important to make new memories. Now, your young son is going to be making memories everywhere he goes because everywhere he goes now, people say, you're one of those Barker boys, aren't you? And you do music, um, gospel bluegrass combination. So you could sing at a church or you could sing at a big venue. Doesn't Whatever. matter. Yeah, we're yeah. available. Now right now we're going to close with a song we've talked about a lot today. Johnson, thank you for being here. This is our third anniversary. We're going to close with Go Down Moses. I think it's a fitting song to close with. It's very upbeat. And we're going to start the year very upbeat and very positive. It has to be positive. Don't let things get you down. And just smile and know that no matter what tomorrow brings, there's a better day on the horizon. So right now we're going to close. We'll see you again soon, guys. Bye-bye. Go down, Moses. Can't you hear God calling thee? Go. Moses in a burning bush, the fire of God came down. God said, Moses, take off the shoes, you stand on holy ground. Go down, Moses. Can't you hear God calling me? Save the firstborn son. Oh, thou Moses. Can't you hear God calling me? 